Okay, uh, the rolling wave, uh, it's a lovely jig uh, in the key of D. Uh, play it through slowly uh, first and then break it down into phrases and then we'll look at the ornamentation at the end. So break down into phrases and we'll start with the first uh, first part. Now there's a lot of repetition between uh, in the first part and in the second part uh, which makes the tune easier to learn. So uh, when you have the script take the time like I've said before to go through it and look where the repetition is and it makes things much simpler. So first phrase. Second phrase. Third, third phrase, same as the first. Fourth. Second line, fifth phrase. Sixth. Seventh and eighth. So then the second part. First phrase. There's a lot of repetition there, so just taking it uh, in one go. So I'll do that again. Second phrase. And third. Fourth. And so we're on to the next line uh, for the fourth phrase. Fifth. Sixth is the same as the end of the second part. And seventh. So that's the tune. Uh, this is a good tune that allows, uh, works great with ornamentation. Where you have lends itself to F rolls. So. So that's where the F roll can be used. Uh, the uh, G roll at the end of the part. And then you can also put in uh, an alternative to a D roll in that first bar. So instead of, you can play, so you're just putting an F, E, D run in, in instead of the E and D. But 
But like any time ornamentation is there, use it or don't use it at your own discretion. So I'll, I'll take the tune through and chop and change between the straight and a bit of ornamentation as we go through it and I'll speed up the tempo a bit. So that's it, pardon the mistakes. Uh, use ornamentation, don't use ornamentation. It's up to yourself. It's a lovely straight melody. Uh, don't forget with the jigs, first beat in each bar to give it a bit of an emphasis. And there in the second part, those high Ds, uh, dig them out a small bit just to give a bit of swing uh, to the tune. Enjoy.